that an inner city church is under investigation tonight, the powerhouse Apostolic Ministries was gutted by fire early this morning. Now the pastor and his congregation are left shocked as police investigate the unusual occurrence. Keishla Adderley reports. These showers, too little, too late, as a place of building and upliftment went down in flames. Contradiction and confusion for a church whose seven years of work was gutted under mysterious circumstances. Apostle Julius Kemp got the unexpected call around 5 a.m. today. Rushed out of my home and came here, and where I met the church on fire, um, I met three um, fire engines at the time on site and persons standing around as officers were trying to bring the fire under control. But by that time the damage had been done. From roof to floor, everything the 100 member congregation had built was left charred. As detectives searched for clues, the police fire investigative team told us three fire engines were dispatched. We met flames coming from the top roof section um, of this church here and uh, um, at this stage the, as you can see the fire has been extinguished um, and uh, an intensive investigation has been launched. We are not in a position to say exactly what was the cause. Apparently someone had the foresight to take out a camera and start rolling. It's all Apostle Camp had in hand about what happened under the cover of darkness. And I don't want to make any assumptions at this time. I would wait on the police mm -hmm. and then we would take a step from there. But you did get a, a tip about someone suspicious, perhaps on the roof of the, of the building? Well, um, at this point, yes, they said that someone was there. The building landlord, Kim Davis, got an early morning call as well. She can't say much about the circumstances, but talking with her did uncover this important clue. So there's no electricity at no. the building at the time? No, there isn't. Okay. So that, so that for them, without the possibility of an electrical, electrical fire. fire at this time. Evan said the investigation should wrap up quickly, but the scars will remain for a while longer. It makes me feel that you feel, man, this building being here for a period of long time. It's the first time this ever happened. You know, the first time this ever happened, and it's the word of God, man. Whoever we'll do this, God should deal with them, whoever we'll do this. And, and this is time now to come all together. As you know, this is a time not to point fingers or to fuss and fight now. This is a time for all us to come together and wait. The church is still meeting on its next move, looking through the tragedy to the heavens for answers and strength. Keisha Adderley, ZNS Network News.